Now, the uh, French government is set to inaugurate a so-called cyber campus today near Paris. It's been dubbed a totem of French cyber security, and its opening comes at a time when governments around the world are increasingly focused on online threats. To talk about it, Julia Seeger is with me in the studio. And, Julia, this cyber campus was first supposed to open in October, but finally the inauguration is taking place today. That's right. They were delayed because of COVID-19, mm. but it still took them only three years to put the project together, which is uh, pretty impressive. The cyber campus will be located in the business district of La Défense near uh, Paris, and it's a 26,000 square meter building. Uh, it will be welcoming many players of the cybersecurity sectors, so uh, many companies like big corporations, but also startups and uh, state players such as the Cyber Defense Department, but also researchers and students. Now, the goal, of course, is to try to boost the cybersecurity ecosystem here in France to encourage collaborations between private and uh, public public sectors, but also uh, to make sure that it becomes a huge hotspot of it for innovation and uh, that we'll see emerge cyber champions, of course. Now, what's interesting is that many big French corporations like Bouygues EDF uh, or even um, Airbus uh, have stakes in this project. The state only owns 44 uh, percent of the capital. And this actually proves that there's real consciousness today of how much of a threat uh, cybersecurity, uh, um, cybersecurity attacks can be. And, and, and we can really tell that they're recognizing the fact that we now need a collective and also a sovereign answer uh, to these threats, not only from uh, companies and states, but also from individuals themselves. So we need this multidisciplinary approach that the cyber campus is trying to propose here. And tell us a bit more about why it is France is trying to boost its cyber skills and its cyber defense in this way. Well, you're right to say that they're trying to boost it because exactly a year ago, the, the French state was launching the Cybersecurity National Plan, which tries to uh, triple the sector's revenue. So the reason why is because there's a cyber war raging in cyberspace. We often talk about it here on the set. Uh, but uh, also many states, including France, want to make sure that they keep a competitive advantage here. Now, if I say SolarWinds, uh, Kasaya, Microsoft Exchange, uh, JBS, Colonial Pipeline, or even Pegasus, we're all it all rings a bell now. We're starting to understand how much of a of an impact and, and the, how much of, of a scope these attacks can have, but it's sometimes hard to understand how constant these attacks are. Uh, on the map that I'm about to show here, uh, you'll see these are attacks that are happening uh, live as we speak in real time, so it just never actually uh, stops. So these attacks can be actually perpetrated by cyber criminals, uh, you know, on individuals or even companies, but sometimes they can also be perpetrated by states who carry out very complex operations. Uh, and uh, once again, here, the, the, the reasons can be multiple. It can be industrial espionage, sabotage, or even trying uh, to intrude in uh, these uh, critical systems. So this is why sometimes some of these threats are actually handled directly by the Army's Cyber Command. And not long ago, the French ministry actually said that it was trying to hire more cyber warriors uh, to try to have an operational task force of about 5,000 uh, by 2025. So cy cyber threats are definitely growing. Uh, they're everyone's business from individuals, but also companies and states, as I said. And earlier, we actually spoke to Michel van der Berg. He's the head of the cyber campus here in France. And he told us a little bit more about how uh, he found inspiration in other projects across the world, especially in Beersheba in Israel. In the preliminary research mission given to us by the Prime Minister, we had a look at what was being done elsewhere in the world. We went to the Skolkovo Innovation Center in Russia, to Beersheba in Israel, to New York and Silicon Valley, and we worked with embassies to look at what different countries were doing. This helped us come up with the cyber campus. We learned that location is very important. Cyber security experts are quite rare, and even even if a campus is very attractive, when it's too far from the capital, they don't come. That's why we chose La Défense. Like other cyber hubs, we're bringing together service providers, students, researchers and innovators. But what makes our campus unique is that large French businesses have also decided to house their cyber experts in the cyber campus too, to join this ecosystem. That's never been done before in Europe or worldwide. 
So Nadia, as of tomorrow, all of these players of the cybersecurity ecosystem will be able to move into the building. It's, uh, as I said, once again, it's going to be a symbol, a totem of French cybersecurity. The goal is to show France's cyber might, uh, but also in a very symbolic way, but it's actually very real as well to try to deter groups from attacking France. Julia Seeger, very important, very interesting. Thanks very much. Thank you, Nadia.